We're in open session, Your Honor. Thank you very much. We're now in open session, and the light has turned red, you see. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Witness, I would like to take you back then to the incident you were describing before lunch when you returned to your neighborhood with a group of Kikuyu youth. Uh, and I'm looking at page 63 of the transcript at line 13, you, you say, when those youth and I arrived there, contrary to our belief that this was a small matter, the Kalanjins appeared in large numbers with bows and arrows. Now, what I would like to get from you, please, is can you estimate on this occasion the number of Kalanjin youths with bows and arrows that you saw? I can also see, I can only see there were more than 10. Can you say whether this number was greater or less or the same as the group you had seen previously in the company of person number two? The group was a bit big. And is it possible to perhaps get a, a little bit more accuracy rather than more than 10? If it was more than 10, would it have been, could it have been more or less than 20? Well, in such occasion, it was hard uh, to look and try to count how many were there because of the station. I understand. Perhaps we can approach it this way. You estimated, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I recollect that you estimated the group of Kikuyu youth who accompanied you to be approximately 20. Is that correct? Yes. The Kalanjin youth you encountered on the second occasion, were there more or less than the Kikuyu youth that were accompanying you? They could have been more. Very well, thank you. Um, sir, th does that mean you do not know whether the Kalenjin youth were larger than the Kikuyu youth that were with you? In number. I cannot confirm whether they were more or less. Thank you. All right. Let me then move on from there. You testified that you, together with the, your companions, fled in the face of the Kalenjin warriors. Where did you? go to? We were praying towards the trading center that is Konambai. And just to give the court an idea of the lay of the land, can you comment on how, how long it would take you at, at a normal pace to walk from your neighborhood or from your house to, to the center? It will take uh, between five and ten minutes while walking. Thank you. And what did you discover when you returned to the shopping center? I discovered that the station had also gone bad. areas surrounding the other feeding center.
before we get to that, what became of the rest of your companions that accompanied you and fled in the face of the Kalenjin warriors? Normally, when people start running away, there are those who run faster than the others, and there are others who are left behind. After I and some Kikuyu youths had arrived at the shopping center, those that had been left behind told us that one of the youth had been killed. One of the Kikuyu youths had been killed. And does this person appear on your list? And if so, what number? It's number 11. Did you at any stage see his corpse, his body? Those that were left behind with him carried him up to the shopping center. And did you see his body there? I saw his body. Can you describe how he was killed? What were his injuries? First, there was uh, a narrow lodged in his body. Those who had carried him had that arrow with them, they had plucked it off. And on his forehead, he appeared to have been hit with a blunt object. Right. Can I just clarify for the record at page at line 20? Um, is it correct you said there was an arrow lodged in his body? Yes. Thank you. The record appears to be correct. And how did the people present react to the death of person number 11? People got emotional. They were so angry. They were so angry, so to say. And what did they do? It is at that particular time that people realized that it was not a roughing matter and this could have been a properly arranged fight. So, this could have been properly uh, arranged. Yes, it is a properly arranged fight. That's what I heard. Thank you, Rona. What do you mean by a properly arranged fight? Can you expand on that, please? Uh, that incident could not just happen 
people to have with them bows and arrows at such short notice after the election results. And on that point, it, it may seem obvious, but in times of peace, is it normal for people to walk around with bows and arrows in your area? No. And are there any other reasons why you concluded that this was a properly arranged fight? Yes. The also had time to locate and identify the Kikuyu homes. You've mentioned that the Kalenjin youth were burning houses, sp specifically burning Kikuyu houses. Did you see how they were setting these houses on fire? All right, I'll return in due course to the issue of the planning of this fight. But in the meantime, we were at the point where you were telling us the persons present, the Kikuyu youth, were re reacted emotionally to the death of person 11. What did they then do as a result? As a result, the Kikuyu armed themselves They collected some pangas from the houses within. And will bear with me for one moment, please. grateful for the indulgence, Your Honours. And once, well, yes, once the Kikuyu had armed themselves, what happened then? Now, they decided to go back to the neighborhood and confront the said aggressors. What did you do at that time? I did not accompany them. And do you know what happened to this group of Kikuyu youth that went back to confront the aggressors? While they were confronting the aggressors, they cornered three Karajin warriors just near the trading center and they killed them. How do you know this? As we were at the trading center, we had some commotions and uh, people yelling, and we and some other people at the center rushed to the scene, which was just a few meters from the center. And what did you see there? I saw 
the bodies of the three Kalijin warriors lying on the ground. Can you describe the bodies? The bodies had multiple cuts and one body had its head cut off completely. Mr. Witness, I know this is unpleasant to talk about, but where was the head? It was lying near its body. And do you know who was responsible for the killing of these three Kalenjin youth? These were the Kikuyu youths. Finally, how were these Kalenjin, the three Kalenjin victims that were killed, how were they dressed? As I said earlier, they had no clothes on their upper shoulders, but they had their vests and T-shirts tied around their waists. Can you clarify their, their what and the T-shirts tied around the waists? Can you repeat? The, yes, the uh, record did not catch what you said. You said they had, their, they had no clothes on their upper shoulders and they had their, and there's a word missing, and T-shirts tied around their waist. I, I didn't hear.